it is hard when you're at a large company to, to make sure you're getting that cross learning across all your different business units. And so uh, one of the things we've done recently is we, we kind of reorganized our, our technical fellowship and we've we cored that up into um, kind of what a core organization that I have that kind of crosses boundaries between different businesses. And what that has allowed us to do is instead of them being siloed within their businesses and not really getting that expertise across the entire company, we now have them available so that they can be pulled to different business units. And the other thing that we've asked them to do is really come up with um, ways that, that this information can be shared across the business. So. We've created a uh, technical excellent speaker series. We have weekly technical exchanges where we pull in uh, different folks from across the business to talk about what they can. Granted, some of the stuff is classified, so you can't talk about it. But but the but you can talk about the the, the certain pieces that are are R and D type related, right? Before it gets to the classified uh, area, and so. Those are the things that we're doing. And then, of course, we have our yearly technical expo where we really share that across the whole company and uh, less technical and more uh, everybody in the company gets to come and see what we're up to behind closed doors. So we've really been trying to kind of bring that out into the open and, and encourage that 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 cross uh, cross functional learning uh, across the organization. The other thing that Spirit does really well, we've done it for a long time is our uh, engineering skills teams and so that that's basically set up so that um, they manage the engineering requirements across the company so that we can move engineers around and so if we have an emergent need uh, and we need to match up technology we can get the right person in the right seat pretty rapidly and they're also looking at hey what is that forecast looking like out there and what's coming our way so that we can plan for that in the future and so those teams do a really good job of, of kind of managing that really very difficult process of putting the right people in the right seats both for the company and also for their personal growth and allowing them to to move in and be promoted and to move into management or or the fellowship if that's their choice and so those are kind of the ways that that we're trying to share that learning across the company but it is a difficult task <laughs>